back with another vlog, YouTube. My peeps, my people. Dude, we're always just buying stuff. Like, it's crazy. Like, so many, so many stuff we buy. We just keep on buying, buying, buying. I don't even know if I got my keys. Get the keys? They're in the ignition still. So, we have three weeks of telling you guys what we've been doing. I think it's an upgrade. A lot of people think it's a downgrade. But I'm just saying, I mean, you never know. People be like, oh, why'd you do that? You should've got something else. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Kiss my ass. All right, here, hold this. But we got some things to talk about before. Actually, we'll do that on another video. What we're gonna do today to the whatever we got. But I'm not gonna show you guys yet. I'm gonna get everything ready so we can present you, present to you guys. So we're at the shop and it's right here. Oh shit, and it's right here. You probably already saw the wing, but we got something new. We got a new toy to play. Well, a new, a new daily. So last time, a couple of weeks ago, we were taking the engine out of the Miata to sell. We were doing it for a reason. We've been been saving a couple some some dollars and stuff so we can get something new because r.i.p rest in peace wrx it blew up on us we blew we blew up head gaskets and all that stuff but um here's a uh how, what is it what are those 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 uh where where they make those videos of the people who passed away and they're with wings and they have it on their t-shirts like a a, memo a memorial for the Subaru WRX because we don't have it no more. So, we'll, hi we'll bow our heads, have a moment of silence for the WRX. <laughs> okay, we sold the WRX, and what is in front of me is her new daily, and this thing is fucking cool. There's one bad thing about it, and it's just because she doesn't know how to drive Stop. stick. <laughs> she don't know how to drive stick, but. That's not it. Check this out, guys. For the price we bought, dude, we've been on, like, sprees of buying, like, all of our cars for, like, the stupidest prices. And it's just ridiculous how how good luck we have with this kind of stuff. Like, it's just, everything is just falling in place. And I'm very happy about it. And what we have right in front of us is something I've always wanted. Um, it was her first choice. Like, uh, if you guys watch my TikTok, we, uh, we talked about what car should she get for her next daily and we were talking about lexuses right we were talking about like ls 400s and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it all right so we went a whole totally different route we went let's just say she came to the dark side and we got we got something from not a nismo but nissan so she's on my side now no more, no more Subaru, no more blowing up head gaskets, no more all wheel drive. We're all about that. All that cool stuff, especially the Miata. Miata's, that's a whole different story, but we'll be working on that soon. I don't know how, how long it's gonna take. Same thing with the uh, S14. I actually got something today for the S14 because we're gonna slowly start putting parts in it, but I'm still waiting on some stuff so we can rebuild the um, the One UZ. St simple stuff like the entire gasket set and ARPs and that's all we're doing it. We're gonna clean it up and put it back in. Once that's done, um, then we're slowly gonna work on other things for the S14, but that right now we're not worried about that We're worried about what's in front of me right now guys. So I hope you guys think this was a good decision on her Especially for the price we bought this for three thousand dollars. I did the compression test the other day flawless 190 compression through all cylinders all six cylinders and Yeah, man, dude this thing is a rip it drove four hours away from home had no issues except for one thing that we probably will do today. Um, here it is.
picked up a 350Z. She's a Z girl. This thing has some things that we need to fix. A couple of things. Headlights, the belt, the rear uh, diff bushing. Yeah, a couple of things. But I know the engine is healthy. That's a plus. Um, it drove four hours. That's another plus. It just told us how reliable it is. Or it could be limping on its last leg, but who knows? But yeah, we will see. Got a 350Z. It was her first choice before the IS300. She really wanted IS300. Um, but we saw this for the price. We risked it for the biscuit. And now we have a 350Z with the rest of our car nation. Yeah, especially. And then we have the daily. And then this is going to be another daily. And then we're just procrastinating on our other ones that you're just sitting there. But we're very thankful for having the opportunity to buy stuff like this. Like, it's, it's crazy how much we grew in one year. We might not have the subscribers, but one day we're gonna have them. Um, I do, on TikTok, I'm, I'm starting to finally blow up a little. We, we hit 1,500 on TikTok. So it'd be nice to fit, hit 1,500 on YouTube, but YouTube is so hard to do. But all I see in myself is just growth. And it's crazy how far I've got in one year. Last year, we didn't have none of this. We only had two cars. We didn't have a shop. I was always at my friend's house. And now we have our own shop. We have four cars. We're about to get a fifth car for parts. And then hopefully next year, I have something big that's gonna pop. One of my, one of the cars that I've been wanting. Here's the prediction because right now it's what? Summer and we're in June. Next year, I'm gonna have one of the cars I've been wanting like ever since, I don't know, I mean, it's just let's just say i'm gonna get it and it's gonna happen but yeah like we have so much going on right now and i'm very thankful for our to have this opportunity to do all of this and this is something i've been wanting to do for a while but anyways enough about the z i mean enough about me let's just talk about the z we bought it for three grand it's probably my third time saying it but for the price that we bought this car for was just ridiculous like it's a fucking steal for these yeah it's just a fucking steal because guys, these 350Zs are just going up in prices. People are just selling them for for like six thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, and they're they have a they have like over two hundred thousand miles, well, anywhere from one eighty k to two hundred thousand, and it's just ridiculous. But three grand, one hundred and fifty thousand miles, and the engine is fire. It's okay. It's good. It it's gonna be a good engine. But we do want to buy another engine just for backup. You never know. Every, bad things can happen. Z came with, with a Nismo catback exhaust, which is really, really cool. Dude, like, this is how we know we got a fucking steal. Check this out. Remember, $3,000 for this Z, right? What does that say? That says fucking Nismo. Look above that. Vile side. But the bumper isn't. It's just like, it's kind of like a lip for the bumper. So... These things right here is about $1,500 in parts, which is pretty crazy. Um, it came on some roadie forms that I did not like. They were too big for the Z. So we took the S14 wheels off and just put them on the Z. And it looks way better, in my opinion. She said she didn't like them, but now she geeks over them. Um, the only bad thing is it's automatic, but that's okay. Later on, we can do a manual swap. Um, these Zs are notorious for the door shutting on people's legs the the seat doesn't move back and forth that's why she has her little pillow right there passenger side door doesn't open from the outside so we got to change that um let's see if the z will turn on today we don't know we don't have a belt for the alternator on so we'll see if it turns on got to mention it came with this badass wing i don't know if it's real or if it's rep but it fits really really good this Z was also a is a, also a rebuilt title. If you can tell, it has a messed up um, fender right here and right here. We checked everything. This is a real carbon fiber hood. Just needs to be refurbished, and I think it's a Cybon, but I don't see any uh, certifications for it. But we looked online and we looked at this code that's on it, and it went straight to Cybon. So this might be a real carbon fiber hood from Cybon. 
I mean, it is real because you can see on the clear coat where it's messing up. Like, you can see how the carbon fiber weaves. So, who knows? Like, honestly, she probably got one of the best Zs for three grand. Like, it's crazy. All right, go ahead. Turn on. See if it turns on. Oh, nope. All right, go ahead. Woo. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Is he so fucking cool? All right, let it rip for the for the subscribers. Yeah, go ahead. God, dude, the trumpets are loud today. Crazy. All right, go ahead. Turn it off. All right, so we had to take the belt off because it was smoking in this area. And then look, see, that pulley feels good. This pulley feels good. That bottom pulley feels good. And the alternator pulley feels good. So it could just be the belt. So we're basically gonna, gonna do this belt right here and then this belt right here. And we're gonna have to wait for the next vlog because we're not doing it right now. Um, if you guys think we did a good job, let us know in the comments. So, oh, I know we <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next vlog. You already know what we're going to do. We're going to be changing the belt on the 350Z, and we'll probably go take it for a wash because it does need a bath. But, yeah, you'll see a tutorial video on how to put belts on on a 350Z. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh.